Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch the Movie in the Ass Cast. I'm Mike. I'm Jay. And uh, this is the Ass Cast. Welcome back to saying. Ass. It's not about asses, Jim. It's not about just ass. It's about ass reviews and ass podcasts. And that's what we're bringing you with the Ass Cast. Why are you always trying to tell me to fuck a goat, man? God, fucking give this kid his money. <laughs> this episode's called Boy Wonder. It's about Wonder Boy. That's about right. Uh, it's called Boy Wonder. Yeah, I was right. Fuck yeah, go me. Team and that, that uh, title is not deceptive at all. It really is about a Boy Wonder from hell. And we're talking about X-Men last season. That's literally, the. I don't know, I, I'm loving the shit out of it. It's geeky as fuck, but it is not, to me, that much horror left in it. It's it's At this point... We are in X-Men Season 2. I'm waiting on Wolverine to walk the door. and goes, I do, or I go where I want to go. Look, Jean may have changed, but she's still our friend. So pass through, Logan. <laughs> I'm going. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this one starts out where the last one left off. Sarah Paulson passes out after he finds Precious in the deep, dark basement of Satan. I, I think it was just his lovely eyes. <laughs> you need a map to get out of him. He's them. a pretty man. Oh, he's shit. A, he's got nice feminine qualities. Michael Langdon. Boy, he's got a pretty mouth. Oh, shit. Fucking demon. We're going man. somewhere deep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't go ninja. Nobody don't need ninja. No shit. Get regular can of back. I'm not okay no for Satan. <laughs> nope. Um, so she not passed, me, Black Sabbath. She passes out at the end of the last episode. She wakes up this time, and she's in the middle of a mixture of The Walking Dead and Game of Thrones, where uh, the white knight of demon darks comes at her and uh, is like, you! <laughs> and then she gets fucking torn apart. That's a cool That's a cool. I, I thought that was cool, yeah. Yeah, throw some zombies in there. That uh, just looks like a day at work for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get my Give me my Neurotin! Cream sickles! <laughs> Uh, she wakes up and she's like, I have seen the coming of the Lord, <laughs> or Satan to be exact. And she's like, no, I know what has to be done. Um, she's like, I'm going to give him the test of the Supreme I gotta, Sancho. I got to I gotta give it to a, I got to give it to a man. <laughs> <laughs> Your gum is digging into my hip. Oh God. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's the main thing anyway. The whole idea behind this episode is that. Sarah Paulson's character has decided that she's going to go ahead and give over the title of Supreme if Supreme? Boy Wonder if can it can pass the seven tests of wonder and unlock Harry Potter's Chamber of Secrets. <laughs> but uh, whilst after she says this, she's getting a lot of uh, feedback from you know fucking the lioness, whatever that red hair girl's name is. What the hell is that? Carrot old? top. Carrot top. Yeah. I used to be a sexy maid. She, that shit needs to be trimmed <laughs> I down. Sucked a lot of dick in my day. The motherfucker looks like a redhead iced tea. But uh, anyway, but yeah, so she's like, you can't give it to a man. That's pretty much like the struggle going on this episode. She's like, no, I have to. I'm dying. He obviously has gifts and powers. I've seen the bad shit that goes down. And uh, this is what's going to happen. Is that more of a burrito supreme or a chicken supreme? Well, it depends on what you want and what the flavor of the day is. All I know is I'm fucking hungry. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so they, they, uh, they, they decide to... Um, Give him the test, and then uh, my my favorite guy, his name's Cheyenne in real life. I can never think of the dude's name. Shiloh. Yeah, he's like Shiloh. <laughs> he's like I think uh, I think that that guy's the fucking antichrist. So he goes to leave, but I like that the 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 really gay one. He stops him. He's like, uh uh-uh, uh, I know what you're doing. He's like, I will not let you do this. And he's like. He- Throws him up against the wall, Chronicle style, and he's like, listen, bitch. <laughs> and he's like, well, you sucked my dick. I ain't gay. <laughs> That's basically what it was. But, uh, yeah, he throws him up on the wall, and he leaves. That scene was fucking hilarious. I though. think Michael Langdon, though, uh, by the way, uh, yeah, so there's all that suspicion, even amongst the, uh, the the clan boys, the warlocks, that obviously Michael Langdon is not who he says he is. And he's, he's, he's scary, fucking powerful Magneto. But, um... Anyway, so they, they decide to go ahead and give him the tests. And you get this really quick run of the tests, like the Seven Wonders or whatever. And it's like one of those silent film things. He does telekinesis, pyrokinesis, yada, yada, yada. That was and then, kind of stupid. Yeah, but then she says, now you must descend to the darkness and bring my friend from hell. Before before that happened, though, really quick, when, when he leaves and he decides to go find Sarah Paulson and tell her that this guy's a fucking antichrist, he goes, to, <laughs> it's weird, because he's just, you see a fucking warlock like, oh shit, I need to get gas. And it looks just like the oh, weird yeah. gas station that I have to stop at every night on my way to work. He pulls over to get gas, and Kathy Bates is there. And she's like, I, I can't pull my fucking car close enough. Can Say you, it. Can you do this for me? Nope. He, she fucking Achilles heels the shit mm-hmm. out of his ass, and I hate that. There's, ever since Hostel did it, everybody's all about cutting them a I hate that shit. And by the way, Ooh. this just goes to show you, Dark stop wearing duck. Stop wearing penny loafers, you stupid fucking hipsters, <laughs> without socks. If you'd had the socks, if you'd had the proper tube socks, it would have protected you. It's like my mom no, always wait, told me, it's like, when I wore some mismatched socks, like, son, you're going to be real embarrassed if you get in a wreck. And I'm like, why, mom? I'm going to be fucking dead. Yeah. But uh, she, <laughs> she, 
she not only cuts his, she she lights Sorry. him on fire fucking Halloween three style. Lights his ass on fire. So he he gone. He dead yeah. as fuck. And then uh, then you get the thing you were talking about. With Are the you tech. sure you saw what you think you saw? <laughs> <laughs> he might be alive. I don't know. But yeah, well he's 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 crispy crunchy. Uh, peanut buttery, but uh, yeah. So then she goes back to the to the warlock hideout, tells Michael Langdon it's been taken care of, and um, then she's like, "Well, I had help." And then the main warlock guy comes out. And he's like, "I wasn't gonna let him ruin our first chance to have a male supreme." Like, fuck him. I want the supreme taco salad. Now you got me saying it. I like that he's talking though, and he's like, he's like, "Yeah, it's time for a man to run this bitch." I don't even care if Satan himself has to ruin the whole world. He's like, "No girls allowed." And meanwhile, Kathy Bates is just sitting there like, "Yeah," and I'm like, "You're a fucking woman too." Yeah, but she's she knows who he is. But it was pretty much like a He Man hater clubs for little rascals. <laughs> yeah. We're the He Man hater clubs. No but, women. I like how Michael Langdon's. Uh, uh, his his confidence went down super fast when he saw his mommy. He was like, I don't know what to do. They're going to kill me. Did you take care of it? Did you give me a lunchable for school? All the kids are going to make fun of me, mom. I think that's how any kid is, though, in high school. Like, you think you're a badass and you're, like, part of all the popular cliques. But when your mom shows, like, Mom, seriously, stop. What are you doing here? God damn. Did you pack an extra snack pack? Because if you didn't, Tommy's going to beat the shit out of me again. And then Lil is not going to go out with me. All thanks to you and my life's ruined. Fuck you. I'll work at Valvoline. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, in the either, either way, so that he does have inside help and... Michael Langdon does get kind of screwed over in this part because Sarah Paulson tells him that he has to descend and get her friend out of hell, right? So they were like, no one's ever had to do this before, and you keep on making him do shit like that no one else has been required to do to become supreme, and it's unfair. And Michael Langdon's like, I got this shit. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power. And, and then he was like, but I mean, it is kind of bullshit, though, because he's like, I'll do it, fuck it, whatever. He's like, can I just go ahead and get my license yet? And they're like, no, you got to do this. Like, you want me to get you a thumb of on my way down? Because it's like, it's crazy. It's like, you always keep putting something up, another obstacle for him to go through. But he's like, all right, I'll do it. And uh, so he lays on the floor, and he goes down into hell. And, it, and he finds Yeah, it. now suck your own dick. I, I bet guess. you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be in the van picking each other's butts. Yeah. What? What? Uh, but yeah, uh, he goes into hell, and what he finds is that blonde chick, and I don't know who she is. She's, again, one of the characters from uh, the Coven show, American Horror Story, and she's being tortured over and over again because I guess she loves everything living, and the guy keeps on telling her to just dissect this fucking frog, and she's like, I won't kill anything living, and she keeps healing it, and he keeps, like, killing it and making her, you know, slice it open while it's alive. And I mean that's what that's her eternal torment. And then you get fucking roll. Yeah. Like Michael Langdon shows up with behind him and like sticks him with the fucking scalpel Monday and pulls night. his guts out and yeah, <laughs> blood and poop and poop, boogers were everywhere. And his guts spill out and he's like, Yeah, I like it. Nasty. This get nasty. <laughs> and uh, you know, brings her out of hell. She's hot, man. Yeah, she is cute. She looks like, uh, in a good way, I mean this in a good way, she looks like one of the chicks from Coyote Ugly. <laughs> she does. Yeah. She looks like she totally could have gone on that bar and danced. And I don't mean that in an offensive way. I'm just giving her a goddamn compliment, you fucking feminist. Eat a fucking ass. Eat a dick um, <laughs> But no, she's a good actress, too. She, I really like her in the show. But when she comes back, uh, they're like, oh my god, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> I haven't seen you since you went to Wisconsin with Edgar. <laughs> oh yeah, I, like, I thought you like got lost in his dick, but you never came back. <laughs> but yeah, she she does that, and then he then she's like, oh my god. If it had been you and I hadn't seen you in a long time, and somebody brought you back from me, I was like, what's up, man? You got my seventy dollars or what? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's like, dude, that was three years ago. I was like, yeah, well, time never changes on the IRS clock. She's like, well, whoa, slow this whole train down, and that's when Michael Langdon became badass. He was mm. like, I did everything you fucking asked me to. At that point, I was like, yeah, man, come on. That's like when you when you give me my scholarship. When your parents ask you to clean, like do all your chores, and you can go to the party, but then they're like, "I didn't know it was gonna be a Tommy's house." Like, I did everything you asked, mom. See, mom, if you had fucking been, like, this is why dad left you because you're a piece <laughs> of shit liar. And who would date somebody like that? Um, Michael Myers is dead. <laughs> I'm going to Yosemite. <laughs> I got my bags packed. Thanks. We're all out of perk, and Dan. Got um, my bags packed. I won't get in a fight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Back to school. Uh, but yeah, she she threatens to cl uh, crush the main dude's lyrics in a conversation that, that happened earlier. And then, I, wh fuck, what, what happened next? Uh, oh, well, that is, it's basically that's what he, he, he's telling him. He was like, you're going to make me supreme. But remember, the chick comes back from hell and she's talking to Sarah Paulson. Uh, she's like, he's right. evil. Like, there's something wrong with him. He smells like brimstone and asshole. And, she, and, and he's like... <laughs> he's but, a carnor. But he's like, do you not... She's like, and also... <laughs> 
There was a scene literally where, where Michael Langdon's down in hell and all the kids go, Aah. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, I like that scene though, but they're like, Aah. and their eyes are all white. And she's like, it sounded like hell speak. And he was listening. And basically it was like, hey, you guys got any fucking water? Like it's hot <laughs> as shit out of here. That's what happens when you're stuck at work and you're working a uh, third shift. Like I'm about to be during the daylight savings time change. Yeah. <laughs> you realize that you just lost an hour and then your head goes back and your eyes turn white and so, you start speaking in devil's tongue. So Coyote, ugly, hot chick says like, you know, it was hell speak. He understood it, so there's something really wrong and awful about this man. And Sarah Paulson was like, "Well, I never had any intention of naming him Supreme." He's got skid marks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he smell. smells like butt. He didn't wipe. Uh, every day, I'm for not wiping. <laughs> every day, I go. These big kids dunk my head in the toilet. Uh, but yeah, so uh, so she's like, "I never had any intention to do that." He's not going to be named Supreme, and now he's done me a Supreme. favor by getting me all my girls back, and so we can fight him. And she also says, like, she has this secret espionage espionage mission to go and track down his origin, like his house. Which we're gonna, that's that's a cool scene. At the very end of this episode, you do see the uh, murder house, yeah, it's where he grew, grew up. And I think that now we're gonna get into some really good horror shit because we're going back to the S and M, the rubber suits. Get your lube ready, kids, because we're going fired. straight for the butthole fucking city. I'm fired. Oh. Butthole fuckery for everyone. Yay. But uh, gumdrop. So she was like, and then she was, uh, what was her name? Uh, Miranda or um, the little, the hot girl that he, the first one of the first girls that he rescued from hell. Uh, I can't remember her name. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, like, I'm back, bitch. Yeah, that girl. She was like, you're gonna go and find out, and then that black guy. <laughs> like, y'all Ru- can't whisper for shit. Yeah, RuPaul is gonna come and go with them. And he was like, mm, I can't wait. I call Isle Feet. I'm like, oh, <laughs> fuck. But anyway, so they're going to go and track down the origins of Michael Langdon to see what he's all about. Bitch, you just got here. And then so that's where the episode ended. And I, I mean, I got to say, honestly, like I said, it's no longer to me uh, American Horror Story as far as like just horror. It's got some elements in it that are like, you know, uh, horror related, but definitely overall just like a twisted, cool ass origin story for a super villain or a super yeah. like uh, some kind of super team up fight. I don't know. I like it though. It's zero zero percent scary. You know, the horror visuals are still there. The intro's still there. You got the guy getting cut open. You got the kid's eyes going back. There, there's still some horror stuff there, but yeah, it's full on Magic Town, Party of You. Michael Langdon's whole theme song just to be like, he doesn't need his name up in lights. He just wants to be heard whether it's the beat of the mic. He feels so unlike anybody else alone. The uh, only thing that we didn't mention was the weird fucking scene where Stevie Nicks just walked out of a closet. It's like, it's the White Witch. Oh, yeah. It's like, she sings a Fleetwood Gypsy. Mac song. I was like, you're going to make out or what? I, I was waiting for Borat to come. It's like, show me your tricks, Gypsy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so wears? strange and awkward and weird. I don't know. What the fuck? Like, well, they call her the... It's just, you called the White Witch. I was like, I thought you were talking about Michael Jackson. Sing to him, Danny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, that was just so strange. But, you know, I felt like they were like, well, we got to fill 10 minutes here before we get Stevie to the Nicks, stuff. Stevie Nicks, yeah. Just, well, Stevie Nicks just walked on set. We got to put her in here somehow. I, I think she probably had something to do with. Coming. She probably does. Yeah, but we. But she's. Uh, I guess she's a witch of healing. But I don't think I'm gonna really go with like Gypsy to heal me. It's like that's not gonna work. <laughs> Give me some fucking. M&M. It's like, damn, I, I, all I could think of was like, I wonder how Stevie Nicks felt when they were like, yeah, we need you to come in and bang out this Fleetwood Mac song, Acapella. She was probably like, man, my voice strings are kind of tired. Like, I don't know how this is going to sound. They're like, it'll be fine. You know, it's, oh, it had to be so fucking awkward for everybody in the room when she just walked in like singing slowly. I felt like uh, Michael Langdon was watching from the banister. He kind of felt like Jack Black in School of Rock when he was talking, when they were talking about that lady that got crazy <laughs> and drunk that one time when Stevie Nicks came. I was like, uh like the one wing dove sings a song, just sounds singing. <laughs> I thought Ooh. it would be funny if he just farted. <laughs> oh, sorry. He farted and then the flame came out real strong and burned her up. He's like, that opposite. Oh, and yeah. also, uh, Winter. I, I always call her Winter from yeah. uh, Cult. Uh, they, they show, they, they're talking about how powerful she is for a minute. So we there, know where that's going. Because she brought Bambi back to life. So I think she's going to be the, su- the, 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 the true Supreme Sancho. She's, the, the, she's the Harry Potter to his Voldemort. Yeah. yeah so, so it's going to be, you know, that's going to happen. Um, but, but yeah. That, that's it. I mean, there, I, I'm sorry, guys. I know that there's not much in-depth detail to go about. I mean, we could talk about speculations and stuff. And again, I think that this season is just going to keep going in this route of supernatural but superpower beings fighting each other, which I'm down with. I mean, it's been a while since fucking Chronicle came out. <laughs> it kind of reminds me like a little bit of a Chronicle thing. Yeah, but does. also the Omen. I mean, it definitely is like got the Omen feel to it. Yeah, I think Murder House is hopefully going to bring the yeah, horror back so. in. Uh, I wonder if they're going to get that dude back. 
Yeah, I hope so. Dermot McMullen. Yeah, Dermot yeah. Mulroney. I want him to like. I want him to vampire back into the show, like Shadow. Like, mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm psyched to shit. Well, he, House. You know, Jessica he, Lange will be well, there too. He would be there. Yeah, because all the members. Because at Murder House, they all died. But it's weird. They're damned to eternal uh, damnation there. in that house. But some of the characters from this were there. Like the the redheaded chick. She's apparently damnation there as well. Mm. Uh, so I don't know how that's going to work out. But I anyway, fuck either. my butt. Um, we nope, love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. And before we go, I want to say something. I know that some of you guys have been commenting, complaining, uh, whatever you want to call it, that our faces aren't shown during these. And, and the thing is... I got a pimple! <laughs> uh, the thing is, is that it's just it's the only way we can possibly... With everything we have going on this month, hopefully next month the work schedule will work out better. Uh, hopefully next month or next year, maybe we'll be doing this full time. Who the fuck knows? Ooh. But just the way that my work schedule works versus the only time we can shoot. We live 45 minutes away. Uh, we got all this shit going on with Horror Month, with Halloween coming out. And this is the best possible way we can possibly get these out you guys because literally what we do is we sh we come in we shoot this podcast real quick and then i can just slap it up really fast get it on youtube so uh, while literally i'm editing this putting it up while we're making our other videos and stuff that has to go so it's just it's really the only option you guys and if you don't want to go to youtube to watch them all our shits on spotify now if you want to go there um we're doing the best we can I, I i really appreciate you guys sticking with us um those of you who maybe just watch us for the hs and that's that's cool too but uh what mike's trying to say is we're not men or machine. We're just something in between. <laughs> <laughs> but we're doing our best. And don't you get your panties in a soggy diaper way. We're going to give you all the content we can. But this is just going to come in podcast yeah. form. Hopefully next year uh, we'll, we'll do our absolute best to make these in video and podcast form. Uh, but make sure you guys go check out that Spotify because we're also putting our reviews and other shit up there. So we love your fucking faces. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and get some god damn wham opinion. The him writing. Fuck. The Warlocks. Sing the song, come song, I'm singing, baby. Huh? We watched a movie. Yeah. We watched a movie. We watched it. We watched a movie.